All right, so let's now start programming in Java. And before I start uh, week number one's tutorial video, which is only meant to be light, but I really want to clarify a certain important concept together with you, and also to show you how your overall Java project structure should look like. We'll get there by the end of the tutorial uh, videos for this week. Before I do that, I would like to suggest for those of you who might be very keen or ambitious to really do something extra, it's optional, but I highly encourage you to do so because it's a very foundational programming course that's going to influence your performance in the subsequent courses in the second and third year. So I really want to suggest some good study reference for you in case you want to do some extra work. This is a tutorial series which I created for your fellow students back in uh, winter 2019 for 1021, ECS 1021. So that's for the engineering students to take. However, they also did some very serious Java programming at that time. And I got a complete uh, tutorial series already there. And for those of you who might be interested, click on the link and then you will see, uh, let me show to you. If you see on your browser, it's going to be uh, this long list of tutorial series over here. It's uh, thorough, it's complete, and for uh, for those of you who might be uh, who might be interested in doing uh, extra exercises, I would suggest you can start from video number one already. So for week number one for ten twenty two, optionally you can study uh, video one until video seven if you like. Okay. And then for every week, uh, when we are going through our required tutorial series for 1022, I'm just going to tell you uh, which videos you may want to look at uh, as extra practice. All right. However, don't get me wrong. So for those of you who didn't uh, who didn't choose to actually do this extra practice, that's okay. As long as you actually follow along the uh, required tutorial series for 1022 winter 21, which I'm going to uh, upload uh between 90 minutes to two, uh 90 minutes to two hours of uh, tutorial videos every week uh it should be all right but again if you want to do extra work please consider all right let's now get back to uh what we should do for this week for week number one from the previous tutorial video you already created your Git github accounts and also you, you install your eclipse that's the assumption i'm making so now let's say we choose the workspace to be EECS 1022 Winter 21 workspace. So starting from uh, the subsequent uh, videos, I'm going to assume this will be the workplace uh, they're going to start with. Let's launch Eclipse. I want to, uh, first of all, show to you how you can set up your working environments in Eclipse. Specifically, we want to set up the so-called Java perspective for you to edit your Java programs and also compile that and also to run it. There is another perspective called the, the debugging perspective, which I will introduce to you uh, in the later part of the video uh, of the tutorial series. Okay, uh, at any time during your development process throughout the semester, if you found that uh, your perspective for Java has just been messed up, let me show you how you can reset it. And then I'll show you how you can set it back to what I recommend. Uh, make sure go to Eclipse and then uh, go to a window and go to perspective. And then there is one option to reset the perspective. Click on that. And then uh, just say reset over here, right? So my layout has been reset back to the default. So this is where, uh, that's, this is what you should see uh, in the beginning. Let's see what I recommend you to really uh, set up uh, the default, uh, adapt the default layout to be. So you can see over here, we got package explorer. We got outline. So I would su suggest we put outline right beside the package explorer so you will have to uh click on the outline and then uh move your mouse over hold it okay and then move that to right beside the uh, package package explorer so you can see uh there's some uh dash line over here right you want to put it there right you gotta uh, practice this uh, uh, again if, if uh if you fail any of the step you can always reset it back to the default and try again you just take some practice so now we got package uh package explorer we got outline so now let's look at the button over here. Uh, by the way, you can see over here, there's an icon here. So this shows the Java. So now we are working on the Java perspective. You can see we got problems, we got Java doc, we got decoration. I would suggest we can remove uh, Java doc. We can also remove decorations. So we got problems over here. 
I would suggest one more. So promise is really for you to see any compilation errors you have, which is very important. Whenever you submit your lab assignments or submit your programming tests to, for grading, you, you want to make sure there is an empty list of errors over here for compilation. Okay, if you got any errors over there, so that means your instructor or the TA, they simply just cannot launch your Java program for grading, right? It's really important. I want to add one more tab over here, which is for us to see the console outputs. So again, let's go back to window and go to show view. And then uh, you can see there are many options over here. One of them is called problems. In case you don't see that, you can go to other over here and then simply type problem. Oh, sorry, not problem, console over here and then uh, to see if you see that. Okay, if you hit enter, you can simply just see console over here, right? So that's actually uh, how you put a tab over here. All right, so now we got package explorer, we got outline, we got problems, and also we got console. So these are the four tabs that will be very useful for your Java de developments. And I will just now try to show you very quickly about the functionality for each one of them. Okay, so this is a screenshot of your current uh, tool layout, the Java perspective in your Eclipse. Let's go over one by one. Let's first of all see the uh, uh, package explorer over here package package explorer okay basically uh it's gonna show all the projects you have in your in your workspace currently you simply just got uh week number one uh from uh labs from the first tutorial video right and now you can see under this particular projects uh later on we're gonna build up uh different projects uh as we go by uh in the semester and also under the source it actually shows to you different packages we'll see packages later uh in this week and also under each package, you will get a Java class, right? So you can think about it's more like a show you the folder structure of your projects. Let me uh, just mention that. It will be important for you to know uh, the functionality for each uh, tab that we are trying to add over here. So you're going to get different projects, the structure for projects. Under each projects, you will actually see maybe different packages. By default, it's, there's simply just no package. You can think about package is like a folder for organizing your Java classes. And also under each package, you got different Java classes. Okay, of course, if you simply click on one, uh, the class, I only got one class, but we'll build up more. If you click on that, it's going to show you the, uh, the Java class in the editor view, okay? And then if I go back here, so this part over here will be the editor. So this part here, this is the editing panel for your Java. Whenever you want to type your Java code, this is where to type it, okay? So this is the uh, editor. And so-called so compile time. So whatever you type over here, you have, to, you have to make sure you save it. It's really important to see the following. For example, you can see this is the class that we de developed before. So now if I say, for example, if I simply hit something over here, right? You can see we have some error, uh, some red cross over here. It tells you there's something wrong with uh, the syntax for your Java code. So there is a problem. And then if you go to the problems over here, however, you can see there's a red cross over here, but there's nothing under the problems to show you that problem. The reason is you can see there is a star over here, right? Uh, you can, uh, let me just, Okay, I didn't catch that in the screenshot, but you can you can uh, basically what you see what you saw is you can see there's a tab uh, there's a tab over here for that particular class at the left uh, top left corner there is a star over here so star here simply means the file is unsaved. You want to make sure as you are typing your Java code you have to save your file uh, periodically. Okay, let me show you what you should really do. Uh, because in practice, you might be opening uh, multiple tabs in your uh, Eclipse editor. So I would suggest you go to file, and then there is an option over here called save, uh, save over here. But if you got multiple tabs uh, open in the Eclipse, there will be another option called save all. So you may always want to save all, all of the tabs 
periodically. So don't really only try to save your file at the end of your developments, after a few hours of developments. You want to save your file, hopefully every one minute, let's say. Okay, as soon as I say I save it, you can see now Red Cross is still here, but now you can see the tab over here. And also under the problems over here, it shows you that problem there. For example, you should never submit for grading any uh, lab assignments or programming test where you, you got uh, some non-empty list of errors. So that's why the problems tab, uh, tab over here is crucial, right? You should always look up to see all the open tabs and also under your package explorer and also under every line of your uh, Java classes. You want to make sure there's no red cross over here. Whenever you got error, so that means you got compile time error. So now what we are seeing, right? What we are seeing right now is somewhere we got the red cross. And also under the problems, you got some non-empty list of the error. And also here, you also got red cross over here, right? In the in the tab. So this simply means you got compile time error. The consequence of that is the code cannot be run, cannot be executed, cannot be executed so it's really important that you fix the error but if you refer to your lectures you will see uh the various uh common syntax error or type errors and then you will see how to fix them right all right so that's about the uh, editor okay uh and then uh let me mention about the outline over here so that if you look at the outline over here you can see there is another one let me use a slightly different blue okay you can see this is the outline Outline is basically uh, allows you to really see the structure of a particular class. I'll show you. So this will be a uh, structure for a class rather than for the entire project. So let me show you. If you go here, so now you can see currently I double click, I open, this is the class that's being uh, currently I'm focusing on. And then if I go to outline, so this outline over here shows to me the structure of this particular current class I'm opening, right? You can see currently I only got the main method, but as I develop more methods uh, later, I'm gonna see multiple methods. So you can easily navigate uh, within a particular class. So package, explorer, and outline, they serve different purposes. Package is more like a macro, uh, like a, a macro uh, scale to see uh, different structure. And then outline is more like a, a micro uh, scale. All right, so we talk about these, uh, and then we talk about problems as well. So I would say you really want to pay extra attention to the problems over here. So that shows to you all the uh, compile time errors. And it should be empty. Before you submit any Java uh, work for grading. If I go back here, and for now, I'll just uh, fix it, right? I just need to match the parentheses. And then you can see that uh, even though after I fix it, but the problem is still there. Why? Because I haven't saved the file yet. You can see the star over here, right? So I can simply just go to uh, file and then I can say save. Or you can just say control S. But if you're using Mac, it will be command S. Okay, after I save it, you can see the problems. Now get back to uh, empty list of errors, really important. The final tag to talk about is the console. Well, you have seen that already in the previous video. So now it, for the console, what I will do is uh, basically every time if I run, if the current class I'm opening is actually a console application, meaning that it has a main method over here. So in the main method, I simply got system the out print line. So now I can simply say launch and then I see the console output, right? Very easy. Okay, so now let me annotate it. So this will be the final one to pay attention to. So the console over here is really to show you the console output. And it's really from the main method. You may have more than one uh, console applications. Each one of them has their own main method. So you want to choose which main method you want to execute. All right, so that's about the tools layout I will actually suggest. And before I end the current video, uh, I'm just going to show one more thing to you. So to really find out a particular uh, tab to really add in to your layout, this will be the minimum I will recommend. 
What if you want to add more? You can simply, again, go to Window, go to Show View, and then go to Other. You can see this. Uh, these are the whole list of things you can actually add to your Java perspective. For example, if you go under Debug, you can see uh, the uh, uh, console. Uh, sorry, console is not here. So if you go under General, you can see the console over here and also uh, Package Explorer uh, somewhere. Anyway, so you can go over the list and then find out the ones you need. Later on, we're going to see some useful uh, tabs to actually add in to the debugging perspective, such as breakpoints and also uh, variables. That's something we'll see later.